Hi, my name is Rebecca, and welcome to Divisibility Rules 1. Did you know you can tell whether a number is evenly divisible by another number without actually dividing? Sounds complicated, but you can test this no matter how large the number is. I'll show you. In this video, you'll learn the divisibility rules for 10, 5, 2, and 4. But why do we even need to know this? Here's an example. Let's say you have four friends and your generous grandpa gives you $127. You're thrilled, but you wonder if you can divide this between the five of you without breaking dollars into cents. Without a calculator? Dividing such a large number will take a long time. Thankfully, there is an easy way to know if it can be divided by five. Stay tuned. Divisibility rules let you know at a glance whether a number can be divided by another number to get an answer that is a whole number. Divisible means you can evenly divide the dividend by the divisor and the quotients or the answer it's a whole number without a remainder. Let's start with 10. You might already know the rule for 10, even if you didn't know it was called a divisibility rule. Numbers that end in zero are divisible by 10. These are the easiest to remember. Look at a few examples with me. The number 80 is divisible by 10 because it ends in a zero, but the number 46 is not equally divisible by 10. It ends in a 6, not a 0, and would have a remainder as an answer. Let's try a bigger number. Ready? You know without any pencil or paper that 3260 is definitely divisible by 10. Why? It ends in a 0. Great job! Let's look at the rule for 5. Numbers that end in 5 or 0 are divisible by 5. First, we have 65. 65 ends in 5, so we know it can be divided by 5. Now we have 33. It isn't evenly divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in either a 5 or a 0. We can divide 80 by 5 evenly since it ends in a 0. Now let's try a bigger number. We know that 2170 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 0. And now on to the divisibility rule for 2. If the number we're dividing into ends in an even number, it's divisible by 2. Remember, even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Can you try with me? 10 ends in 0, so we can divide it by 2 because 0 is an even number. 13 doesn't end in an even number. 3 is an odd number. We can't divide it evenly by 2. 26 and 42 both end in even numbers and are therefore both divisible by 2. The divisibility rule for 4 is a little bit trickier. You have to look at the last two digits, not just one. The number that is represented by the last two digits have to be divisible by 4. 312 is divisible by 4 because the number that is represented by the last two digits, 12, is divisible by 4. What about 2,121? Well, 21 isn't equally divisible by 4, so 2,121 isn't divisible by 4 either. Look at 616. The last two digits 
make a 16. 4 times 4 also makes 16. So 616 is divisible by 4. How does this work for larger numbers? Here is an example. 1,324,428 is a really big number, but we only need to look at the number that the last two digits make, 28, to decide if we can divide it by 4. And yes, 7 times 4 equals 28. And because 28 can be divided by 4, we can be sure that our huge number can be divided by 4 too. You now know some divisibility rules to know whether one number can be evenly divided by another number. Join us in our next video to learn even more divisibility rules. In the meantime, practice these rules and your division skills in our fun online games and quizzes. Remember, always be clever. Hey, hey.